you realize what a fool you are? But you got it coming. You have any idea how dumb you reveal yourself? That ain't gonna feel so fine. Welcome back to The Brutal View, episode 79. It's going to be a little bit different tonight. It's going to be very different tonight, actually. For one, uh, I'm recording this Tuesday night. It's February 15th. Uh, Ruben went snowboarding this past weekend, and we couldn't get together any other day. And I wanted to put something out, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll try uh, the new segment that I'm working on, which is... Uh, you'll see on the screen now, I'm going to be playing video games in a series with my buddy Dickie, aka Jake. Um, me and him have very foul, loud, aggressive gaming sessions, and, uh, it's always very entertaining to watch when people are at a party and shit like that, so we're like, hey, might as well bring it to a game, but... It's going to be pretty much on Patreon only, uh, or at least not only, but they're not going to drop on YouTube for a very long time, maybe months after they're recorded. But I figured tonight's kind of an emergency type situation, so I'll talk about some shit while playing some Red Dead. Viewers, if you want to watch, by all means, I'm not going to be doing anything nuts, barely going to be paying attention to the game, to be honest. Uh, audience, I do apol or listeners, I should say, I do apologize, uh... If there's ever points where I'm talking about something in the game, and you can't see it. Okay. Uh, I want to say, on top of the the podcast, it's pretty hard to get together every week when like you're a New England, New Hampshire-based podcast, and uh, you have like inclement weather and shit like that, and then me and Ruben got 9 to 5, so obviously getting together is uh, tough every single week, but... I still had mad, awkward shit happen to me this week, so I was thinking about naming this episode this one time, because I'm going to say a lot of this one time, except without the in band camp. I was at a job somewhere. I won't say how long ago or how recent, because <laughs> I feel like someone could figure out who this is, but pretty much a co-worker came up to me and was talking about how her... Uh, or she wasn't even really a direct coworker. She's like, she works with other people in the same industry type of thing. <clears throat> she doesn't work directly with me though. And, uh, she came up to me and, uh, I'm friends with her, you know, so we were talking about something kind of personal that I'm definitely going to say on air. So her grandmother or aunt, I can't remember who it was. Uh, I believe it's her grandmother or great something is in hospice now, but she's been like, so she's been healthy her whole life, but miserable her whole life. But now that she's like in a nursing home, uh, I shouldn't say hospice cause it's not like terminal yet. I don't know. I shouldn't say yet either, but, uh, she's now happy. So they're like, Oh, this is weird. The first time she's ever happy in her entire life. And, uh, it's a fucking, you know, when she's about to die. And, um, yeah, my uh, coworker was like, I don't know, she's been so fucking nasty her whole life, and now that she's like <clears throat> in a nursing home, she's happy, but she doesn't want to stay there, and she's like kind of confused, and she's like a little upset that she's there because she's like, I don't need to be here, but she's like just genuinely happier. I think it's just because she's interacting with people. I don't know, but uh, yeah, she was talking like about how she didn't want to get her out of there because it's like expensive and shit, and then she'll have to pay for. Her. And I was like, yeah, you know, and, and I don't know if she's that old. She's like 91. So she's been nasty her whole life. Like she made her own bed. Now she has to lie in it. <laughs> I didn't realize how aggressively 
mean that was about her 91 year old grandmother who's in a nursing home she made her own bed now she has to lie in it and I immediately felt horrible and immediately took it back and started apologizing and was like, I, I just meant the expression. I didn't mean anything of it. Uh, I was just talking shit, yada, yada, yada. And uh, she she thought it was fine, but had a lot of dumb fucking moments like that, uh, especially at work that were uh, not fun. I feel like work moments are the worst because you have to go back and see the person pretty often. And, uh, you know, you, depending on what you do, like I had a coworker fart in front of me one time. That was pretty funny. And, uh, it wasn't like a, like a dude just like, like farting and trying to make like a joke out of it, which I don't even think is that funny to be honest, but you know, it's a common thing. It was a co, it was a woman who was, you know, she's a mom, you know, I'd say middle-aged. And she was just laughing so hard and it was in like an office with like four people and she laughed so hard at one point that she just farted. <laughs> so I don't know if you've ever laughed that I've laughed that hard. I mean, I've laughed so hard. I've like let out like a squeak, like a, like a squeaky little fart. You know, those ones are nasty because they always smell for some reason. The, the like quieter the fart is, the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, smellier it is. Yeah, see this random pause I'm taking now? This is because I'm trying to shoot an elk in the head and I'm half paying attention to both, but trust me, the uh, gaming episodes will be full gaming. This is really just to keep me on track to keep speaking while I'm doing a solo podcast because it's very difficult. I've had a few solo episodes, but it, you can tell in those earlier ones, uh, if if you went back and or if you listened to any of them, I was pulling strings on a lot, pulling teeth. Is that the, yeah, I was pulling teeth. It was tough. Um, I saw a trailer for fucking Ryan Reynolds' new movie called The Atom Project, which I thought when I first saw it was going to be something stupid, but everything Ryan Reynolds has done recently, uh, I've like, were like doubted at first and then they end up being pretty fucking awesome. They end up being amazing. Um, I haven't watched all of Free Guy, but I did start watching it. Um, I actually want to finish watching it tonight. Uh, pirated website. <laughs> uh, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, The Adam Project. Um, that fucking movie looks pretty fucking good. It's a time travel related movie, but if anyone can pull something that's been repeated like that off multiple times, I'd say it is Ryan Reynolds. Uh, the Free Guy movie, I don't know if something exactly like that has been done, where it's been a, a dude in like a video game, but he like grows a conscience more or less, I guess, where he like realizes he's in a video game. I don't really know exactly what the movie's about yet, but I imagine that that's been done before i feel like it has been done before well variations there's a movie like where uh the gamer movie where the dude controls someone in the game but the dudes like the people in the game are real people i guess i don't know watch that movie be something about that then i'll be upset that'll be dumb at that point but i don't doubt ryan reynolds at this point that movie with him and fucking the rock and gal gadot the switcheroo heist movies i mean i haven't seen a decent heist movie in a while so that was that was fun to watch uh spoiler alert i kind of expected the rock to be double crossing him i'm not gonna lie at first i didn't for some reason but then i just kind of was like well knowing heist movies like he's even probably gonna be a guy i feel like i got that from rick and morty because they made fun of them and that's exactly what happened except he ended up being with the girl too which is also confusing I don't know. Um, yeah, they'll pull it off. I'm sure they'll pull it off. Mad shit came out that I'm sure me and Ruben will talk about, but fucking Black Adam trailer came out. I don't know if the full trailer came out, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I watched a full trailer of it, but that looked fucking crazy. Um, I feel like I'm not huge into DC shit. I think everyone who listens or has listened knows we're pretty big into the Marvel shit in this uh, podcast. It looks pretty dope. Uh, 
DC's been making some pretty great movies recently. I think Joker had DC's brand on it, so I'll count that as an amazing movie. I think Zack Snyder's original, even though it was a remake, well, the root, whatever it was, fucking Justice League, crazy. The Flash movie looks good. The Batman looked good two years ago when the trailers came out, and now I don't give a shit about it, and I feel like that fucking sucks for them because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if Edward Pattinson, Patterson, Pat Pattinson, um, is going to be a good Batman. You got to really get, like, the the uh, voice down. I don't know if he can uh hard enough, you know? Uh Christian Bale had a pretty good, uh, I think Michael Keaton's wasn't bad. I don't remember the others, to be honest. I'm only 26, but, uh, Ben Affleck's I didn't like. I think him as a Batman was pretty horribly done throughout all of the movies. Like, he was really dark in one of the movies, which I kind of liked, but the, he did, they didn't stick with it. In, like, the Justice League movie, he, like, wasn't dark anymore. He was, like cracking jokes and being friendly and everything but i don't know i guess because he fought superman and beat him it's another thing too why is like kryptonite just like available to everyone because superman's there it seems a little coincidental no it's very convenient but black adam looks dope i don't know why i veered off on that um the flash looks dope i feel like they had another one aquaman yeah, yeah i'm half and half on those i feel like i watched the first one or is there two i don't know and uh I really fucking don't like Amber Heard. <laughs> I know me and Ruben, <clears throat> like, nowadays, we're really trying not to hit serious shit, but, like, fucking 20, 50 episodes ago, we were just constantly in and out of serious shit. Um, and, boy, we were fucking... I don't know. I don't like Amber Heard. I think everyone knows why. I don't have to do deep dive on that shit, but she's a... She's a cunt. She's a bitch. What can I say and not say on Twitch? Fuck Twitch. I don't give a shit about Twitch. Twitch can suck my nuts. Twitch probably diddles kids. All those fucking giant companies have a CEO that diddles someone. It's fucked up. Can't look look me in the eye and tell me Jeff Bezos hasn't thought about diddling someone. I will pay you money if you can confidently say that. No fucking way. Um, Conde's fucking album, Kanye... I mean, God, there's so much shit to say about Kanye and, like, Pete Davidson and Twitter and all that, but I kind of want to save that for Ruben because I feel like me and him are going to uh, approach it better, whereas, like, right now I'm almost trying to do this so people can have content and mad shit's just been going on in the past few weeks and I don't want to keep doing every other week of a podcast, but Kanye's fucking nuts. I mean, that dude is... Uh, that. Could, I don't know at this point if it is just him trolling or not. And I know he has, like, mental shit, so I don't want to be that dude. I don't want to assume. So, yeah, I'm not going to. I'll leave that for me and Ruben. He's uh, crazy. I'll stick on the music side of it. He said... Feature? Future. Future. That's his name. He's producing his entire album. Uh... But I don't know how I feel about that because I was never like huge into future, but I like future. Like I don't, I don't turn his music off if I hear it. I just don't, uh, I guess I don't go searching for it. Maybe not as much as I should. I hope, um, me playing video games so far hasn't distracted me at all and kept a clear conscience. I feel like the more I bring it up, the more annoying it is, right? I think Kanye is, uh, the best alive producer i can't say that still i still think dr dre is the best producer alive but i think kanye was is the best producer for almost r&b sounding hip-hop it's not really like strictly rap to the fullest extent you know what i mean it's a lot of uh there's a lot of melodic tunes in it there's a lot of uh r&b-ness to it r&b like features I just tried shooting that guy like five times and missed all the all the headshots. And yeah, I think uh, I think Kanye should have produced some of it himself. But I'm very I mean, if he trusts him, right? It's fucking Kanye. I'll I'll think it's a good album. Well, 
If I think it's ass, I'm gonna say it's ass, but I really hope it's a good album. You know, I'm gonna take a tangent since I'm playing fucking Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. I don't really understand, uh... I don't, I don't get when it really switched, like, the aggressive switch of, of bathing. That's, that's what I'm trying to get to right now, bathing. When did it click? We're like, you know what? This water, if we combine it with, like, a lot of soap and maybe hang it from something that can make the water fall on top of us, it can clean our entire bodies. And we don't have to bathe in a, a bath after we just, you know, killed some killed some engines and, and, and murdered the... I don't know. You know I'm, I'm obviously being racist and uh trying to joke but i don't know that that it, i couldn't imagine i'm so fucking bad on smells right now like unless i'm cool with a girl if i like don't be knowing you and you're just like coming up and ripping ass i'm i'm keeping my distance i'm uh you nasty to me just my opinion i mean if you can't control it that's another thing you still smell like shit sorry but I, I don't know. I holding everyone to the same standard, <laughs> I guess, if that makes sense. And um, yeah, I don't remember what I was talking about before that, shaming stinky people. Oh yeah, just smells in general. I don't know. Uh, if I lived back in the day, I guess I'd probably be more used to it, especially in like the Western Wild West era, even though I've been told some of that's still going on. Um, I feel like... If I had the sense of smell I have today, I would kill people. I wouldn't be able to fuck anything. I wouldn't be able to go near anyone. Nose plug 24-7. I would try to be a bounty hunter, though. That'd be pretty fun. I, don't, I say that, like, killing people would be entertaining, but I don't. I feel like there'd be nothing else to do in this time period. I don't know what the fuck would be going on. Okay, another random story time. Uh, this one time... I was driving home from work. This was actually kind of recent. I uh, ended up... It wasn't that cold out, and it wasn't that snowy. The weather wasn't that bad, basically what I'm saying. And uh, I am in. I got a truck, so I got a, a Honda Ridgeline. And if you've ever seen one of those trucks, um, they're not full-size trucks. They're not like a, a Ford F-150 type thing. They're like a little smaller. I got the four-door one. I just have a smaller bed, so it looks extra goofy. Uh, either way, it's still a truck. It's still bigger than the average vehicle. So this one time I was driving by uh, back home from work. And I was going down this back road, but it wasn't like a back road. Like The back roads around here, you could max speed limits generally 30 miles per hour. You can get lucky with some 35s and some 40s in some areas, but uh, I feel like it's most commonly 30. This is a back road with the speed limit is 45 and everyone goes 55 60 the whole time so during uh i'd say a pretty good rush hour coming from fucking south massachusetts i saw there was a shit ton of traffic on the highway i went down this back road i started um a cruising basically i was just going 55 60 i was i was hauling ass down this back road and uh, you can pass cars on this back road. It's uh, like an all dotted line. I don't know what it is in different states, but in New Hampshire, you can pass vehicles in a one lane road if the yellow line in the middle is dotted. Um, it's usually just one lane can do it at a time type of thing. But I mean, obviously people are fucking nuts. They don't follow that shit. So this car was passing a car in the opposite lane with me. Yes, you can tell where this is going, and yes, it did happen, but let me pay it off. So, 5.30 p.m., kind of dark out because it's fucking winter-ish. I'm fucking driving home, 55, 60, passing a few cars. Not passing cars, sorry. Uh, passing a few gas stations and shit. Car on the other side of the lane is whipping it. I can see it like half a mile down the fucking road. This thing, um, it looked like a Subaru souped up suba i don't know what the fuck it was but um it was kind of dark couldn't really see it that well and it zinged by pretty quick but the thing was hauling ass and it went flying up 
past the car behind like two cars a mile down this road because you can see hella far down the road and uh past that car then past the car in front of it now the car in front of this next car and again this is the lane driving next to me so it's the opposite direction coming towards me the other side of the road this car is coming up like right next to my fucking truck and I'm looking at the fucking Subaru and it's still speeding up and it's still hauling ass in fucking the the sack of nuts on this dude. He went flying up, went around the car that was coming up next to me. So he was in my fucking lane. And for some reason, my instinct in this situation, even though I was only going like 55, 60, my instinct was to speed up. So I sped up for some reason i think my mind just defaulted to well if i fucking if i get hit and i try to slow down it's gonna hurt me more where if i'm fucking speeding up i think the inertia the motion whatever the fuck it is it's gonna smash into this goddamn um subaru and, and fly it off the fucking road and i'll be fine i don't know my mind decided all that in like 0.2 seconds i sped up the Subaru comes head to head with me. I shit you not, that thing might have tapped my front left fucking bumper of my truck. It went all the way up, damn near tapped my truck, and then slid right in front of the car on the other side of the road, and the car pulled off the road. It like damn near drove him off of the road. So that guy that was next to me, just driving normally, or driving like up to me normally, got driven off the road because this fucking Subaru was going around every single vehicle. And I think when I sped up, it fucked him up. He probably could have made it, to be honest, but I sped up and uh, I don't know why. It wasn't to spite him. It was just my instinct. Uh, my fight or flight kicked in and I fucking drove. And yeah, he got out of the way at the last second. Uh, my heart was fucking racing for like 10 minutes after that. I felt like I was going to get shot. thought I was going to die. But uh yeah, I hope the guy he like drove off the road is all good. I mean, it looked like he like just slammed on his brakes and pulled over. Like, and there was a little bit of a not sidewalk, but like a grassy type area you could pull off to. So I think he just went over there. But I kept going. You know, I was flying at 60 miles per hour, so it, it didn't, uh, you know, didn't last long. And then I was gone. That was a wild, uh, wild thing. Uh, this other time, this one time, I don't know if I've told the story. I'm pretty sure I haven't. I was driving when I first got my license to a uh, get some buddies to say the least. So I was like 14, 15, 16. I had to have my license. So I was at least 15 and a half, but I know all my other friends didn't have their license. So I'm, I don't know. I think New Hampshire at 16. So at 16, I was driving around and I started picking some friends up. And I had my fucking parents, uh, this, this 2005, like, Toyota RAV4. Uh, the thing was actually a pretty fucking dope car. Kind of spacious, to be honest. Uh, looked goofy as hell driving around in, but I didn't give a fuck. I didn't have any money. So I, um, I just jumped off a cliff. Can't find any supplies. I, uh, yeah, I ended up picking up friends. And since I was the only one who could drive, I picked up all the friends and doing so ended up with eventually 10, 15 to 17 year old kids in a Toyota RAV4 on a main road in New Hampshire. And it was pretty much like uh, it, it's Route 28 is pretty much what the road is called. And this fucking road, like, it goes on for a couple miles, at least I'd say like 10, 15 miles, goes through all of fucking Salem. So by the time I picked up the 10th kid, I was at like the set of lights where it's pretty much like the mall of New Hampshire or Salem was over there. So mad cops were coming from there. And then it's the main road. So there's already a cop or two on the road. There's 10 of us in the car. We may or may not have been high and or drunk. And I looked to the right of me. And in like the reflection of this dude's mirror, I see like the 911 thing and there's a cop like two fucking vehicles behind mine and I didn't have my lights on. It was like 7 p.m. or something. So I'm driving at dark 
didn't have my lights on. Well, I'm stopped at this point because we're like in traffic on the main road on Route 28. I'm stopped with my lights off. Ten fucking kids in the car and we're all fucked up. So I slowly put on the lights in my dumb ass. I didn't just turn the lights on. I put like the fog lights on first, thinking it like wasn't going to be as suspicious if I turned one light on, then the other. <laughs> but that's what I did. Turn that one on, then the other one. So now my normal headlights are on. We're all laughing our ass off, but we're trying not to make a lot of noise or move the car because there's fucking 10 of us in it. There's like three kids in the trunk, four kids in the back seat that only has like two seats. Like it was fucking horrible. And um, yeah, not a single fucking cop noticed. <laughs> we were driving by at like 10 miles per hour due to the traffic, but it probably helped us. And we were just keeping our cool to the best of our ability and we fucking got out of it. That was fucking interesting. Uh, I know this one time I was with my buddy Connor, but we already told that story when a gun was pulled on us. No idea if it was real or fake to this day. We both just stared at it because I don't think we've ever had a gun point at us at that point. So we just like didn't know what it was until five seconds after. That was, yeah, pretty fun. Uh, this one time I was at uh, Hampton Beach think that is a common enough area where people not even in new hampshire know of hampton beach uh hampton beach casino and it's like kind of a good uh concert venue i believe i think a lot of people come up here i don't know maybe i just made all that shit up i thought that was true but maybe i'm talking out of my ass i don't know what the hell is going on i was up at hampton one time i have a few stories there but i can't tell a lot of them uh and this one time i ended up taking I believe it was mushrooms. Yes, it was mushrooms. It was a long time ago. Um, so it was like a few mushrooms. It was only like two caps uh, and some like stem pieces in a peanut butter jelly sandwich. And that was at like noon that day. And we were out in the beach and everything. Now, one thing to note, and I don't know if this has ever been said, but you shouldn't ever do something like that at the beach because you're likely not with someone who's watching over you and you can go in the water and die really fast. Uh, I luckily stayed away from the water the entire time. I didn't even have an interest to go in it. So it kind of saved me that day. But yeah, apparently that's a very common thing. Kids get like too high off like fucking acid or shrooms and they like fucking waltz into the water. I don't know what they're thinking, but yeah, um, I ended up just chilling, had a kind of good glow. It wasn't really like a, I don't know if you've done mushrooms a lot, anyone listening. There's certain feelings you can get with mushrooms. Sometimes it won't really affect you and you'll just kind of like feel everything a little bit more. I don't even know if that's describing it correctly, but that's the best way I can describe it. There's a, a way, like, you know, you, get, you have the freak out, you have the, I need to sit still and like sit in a corner and stare at a corner and shit. Um, sometimes I just try to lay in bed and just get it off, but normally all the good ones are just chilling, you know? Um, this one was a good one until about 5 PM and at 5 PM I had, uh, I, I don't think I can even say their names, but some buddies came by and I was, I don't, I don't remember how old I was for some reason. I was between 14 to 16. I want to say I was 16. It'll come to me eventually. Basically, these kids uh, had like bottles and shit. Uh, they were all like 19, 18, some 20. I think there was one 21 year old, but like to me, they were like fucking 30 year olds, 40 year olds, you know? And uh, they were with me and a few of my friends, and they came up to me because uh, one of them I'm, I'm close with, and, and we started showing with them, so we started drinking with them and shit. Well, then we all got really fucked up. <laughs> now, I don't remember a lot of pieces of that night, but I do remember a lot of fire. I remember uh, there was uh, so there's holes like I don't know if you've ever been to the beach and you you have to pee because you're drinking constantly and you don't want to go to like a area and you don't want to go in the water. I especially didn't because I think I don't know if it was cold or something, but I just wasn't feeling the water that day. So I dug a hole next to me and. <laughs> 
it was funny because like I dug what I thought was just a little hole next to me, but I dug it like my whole arm's length deep because apparently I think that was the shrooms, and I think it started mixing with the uh, booze a little bit. And um, yeah, I fucking <laughs> I pretty much just put I dug a hole really really deep, and I normally I've done this drunk before I I've like leaned to the side and like pissed in the hole and kind of like built a little wall around you almost just so it like looks like normal. You just kind of pee into the hole. Um, obviously when no one's looking this one, um, I, I don't know why I decided to like just put my dick in the hole because I made it like, like I said, like it was like a fucking arms deep. Like there was water in the, in the hole. Like when you put your hand in it, that's how deep it was. And, uh, yeah, so I just put my dick in there and just pissed. And I guess I laid there for like 45 minutes. And I don't remember laying there for that long. Again, I think that was a little bit of the mushrooms being emphasized by the uh, by the booze. And uh, yeah, I ended up actually getting, getting uh, like stepped on accidentally. And then that kind of like jolted me up and everything. And they were like mad cool about it. And it turned out they were friends with the people like the older kids that I was friends with. So I just started chilling with them and they were with a bunch of girls and everything. It was actually a girl that stepped on me. Um, it was actually like four girls and like two dudes. I think, uh, a lot of them ended up having boyfriends, but we didn't know that. Um, yeah. So they ended up coming back with a few of my buddies. Pretty sure I blacked out at that point. I had to be 10 to 11 PM woke up at a house that I believe was just on the boardwalk somewhere at Hampton. It was like someone's like rented beach house or something like that. Um, and they had a little like uh, like a porch area that had like sand in it. So it was like a like an opening in the front with like sand in it. And uh, I don't might have even been a private little beachfront that had sand there. But that's where I woke up basically. I woke up there with my pants down, my shorts down. My underwear was on, but my dick and balls were just out of the flap in my underwear. Now, luckily, I had uh, some very loose, uh, what are they called boxer briefs? Is that what they're called? Or boxers? Maybe that's just called boxers. I had some very loose boxers on, and that uh, luckily didn't suffocate them overnight because they'd probably have to be chopped the fuck off at that point. But yeah. Um, that was fun. I don't know what uh, what happened to me. I've heard some rumors. I've heard some things said of certain things that happened. I don't know if I should believe any of them. I feel like it'll it'll terrorize me if I do. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know. Won't hurt. I'll keep this going. Don't know how long we've been going for. I'm, I'm trying to get to an hour, guys. I really am. I don't know. This could be five minutes in. This could be 40 minutes. And like I said, this is Tuesday night. This might not even drop tomorrow regularly Wednesday. This might be out thursday this might be out friday uh i normally we record on saturdays i normally give myself three to four days to do this so this is definitely a short notice type deal um there's this new fucking show no i i don't know how new it is but pretty sure it just came out called bel-air and i believe it's on either peacock exclusively or Ooh, who? Uh, it's not one of the big ones. I think Peacock. It might be on exclusively, um, or like Apple Watch or something. At least that's what it said like a, a week or two ago. But so I only found out about it because I'm I'm huge into uh, the battle rap culture. Um, battling is massive nowadays. It's nothing like it was in the old days. People don't just run up and spit bars to each other. Uh, they don't do it on beats. It's more acapella, like almost like an eight mile, but it's written material. It's not freestyle. So people prepare three rounds against each other. You have to win basically two of the three rounds. It's like almost boxing kind of style. And it's fucking massive nowadays. People make fucking like hundred grand a battle. It's crazy. Check out like Loaded Lux, Sue Surf, Hollowed It On, uh, all great battlers. But this battler called uh, Easy to Block Captain, who is newer but not newer. Uh, he's been around for, I think, like a decade now, but he actually... Um, he, he hit like URL and smack, which is like the NBA and NFL of fucking battle rap. He hit them like, um, 
he got big there like last year, I'd say. Maybe even two years ago, he was like really blowing up. But last year was his fucking year. I think he came in second place for Champion of the Year. Shout out to Jay Black and Champion. He's on the show, Bel Air. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. Bel Air, I wonder if it, like, it has anything to do with the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And it is. It is a complete fucking remake of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So um, I thought like, oh no, they're going to try to make this show like a new comedy with new people. Or, oh no, Will Smith is going to try to bring the same show back, but they're older now. Which, I don't know, that could work in some scenarios, but it never usually does. Um... It's crazy. It's like a serious show. Like everything looks very, very serious about it. So this dude, easy to block captain, is actually like the enemy of Will in the show. And you know, in like Fresh Prince, how like it says it in all the intros. This is a story all about how my life got. He fought some dude on the court, kept getting in fights and shit. So he ended up, um, you know, moving to Fresh uh, Bel Air. With fucking his aunt and uncle. This show is the same thing, but that fight turned very serious. And he like, like you can see this in the trailer, so I'm not giving it anything away, but he fucked with one of the dudes on the basketball court and these are like street dudes. You don't fuck with these dudes, you know? Um, Easy plays. What I want to say is a... Well, Easy plays a really good character. I'll just say that. Um, you look at the trailer. He's definitely the enemy. He's the reason why Will has to move. But like Will pulled a gun and shit like that. And uh, it just looks a lot more serious. And Carlton, like how on the show, Fresh Prince, Carlton is like portrayed as like a, like he's funny. He's dorky, but he's like kind of against Will in a lot of times. But they're like, you know, they're cousins at the end of the day. So they don't like, they don't hate each other. They just, you know, they don't see eye to eye in a lot of shit. Well, in this show, they don't see eye to eye in a lot of shit. And just judging from the trailer, <coughs> excuse me, Carlton is an evil motherfucker. And he's like talking down to Will, degrading him, like trying to set him up and show that he's like a bad, like he's a piece of shit kid and doesn't belong there. Like, oh, like I came from wealth, but you can't and you never could, even if you wanted to type. Like he gives off very strong evil dark vibes and i'm ready for it man i i, I want to watch the show i want to see easy to block captain in it i think it's dope when artists musicians rappers anything uh battlers get fucking screenplay in any show i always like to support them that's how i found out about fucking andrew santino fucking amazing fucking comic i found out of him because of dave um and bobby lee i was a fan of bobby lee before but yeah i just uh I want to see that show. I highly recommend at least watching the trailer. It looks pretty fucking good. Um, it looks really serious. It's definitely going to be a twist on the show. I wonder what they're going to do with it. Yeah. Um, what's next? This one time, I uh, was at a party with my buddy. And uh, it's funny because I say like at a party when... It really was just his house that we were living at. But like me and like four other of my friends lived there. Um, I was kicked out of my folks house at the time. My buddy didn't have a place to live at the time. Um, that's Dickie actually. Me and him were fucking, we've been homeless together for <laughs> some time. We've, uh, I actually, I haven't spent a whole night out so I can't say that, but well, not in that exact scenario. I have for other reasons, but um, yeah, we stayed at this at, at his house, and his house was just, like, known for, like, partying. Like, we had cops fucking always posted by the crib because, you know, six of us lived there, and then, like, a few of our buddies lived, like, really fucking close, so there was always six to ten of us at that house, and the cops knew what was going on, you know? They knew some shit was going down, so... Yeah, they were always there. They were always watching for us, and, um... Basically, one night, we the uh, the buddy there, um, one of the main dudes there, sorry, try not to fall off a bridge in, the, in a wagon, um, the dude's house, dude who lived there's house, 
uh, you'd think like the one who lived there, like there were two brothers, and you'd think that they'd like not uh, <laughs> want to fuck up the house because it's like their own house, it's their parents' house, but no, they wanted to party and they didn't give a fuck. They just wanted everyone to have a good time. Uh, and, you, and you need people like that in your life. You know, there's really like people like shout out to Hunter and Matt. You fucking need people that they just want everyone else to enjoy themselves, even if it's at a cost to them. And yeah, they're going to want something out of it, but they deserve something out of it. You know what I mean? They're they're great at setting that type of shit up. In my opinion, I don't know. It's just me. Um, they fucking, we were partying. A lot of shit was going down at the party. A lot of drinks, a lot of booze. Uh, there may or may not have... Okay, we're back. That was really scary. My, uh laptop just crashed in the middle of recording and the laptop obviously powers the uh the editing software that i'm recording the that was probably loud as hell i'm sorry my podcast is recording the editing software that the podcast uses so i wouldn't be able to release this audio i would have had to use the mic audio and that would have been another horrible audio filled episode (laughs) very glad that didn't happen All right. I am going to wrap this up now. Thank you for tuning in. I apologize. Um, You'll notice there's another like 15 or 20 minutes left of the episode. I'm going to release another thing that is exclusively on Patreon called Drunk Bar Pong. This is something me and Dickie did years ago. Uh, Honestly, it was like... 20 early 2019 so damn near three full years ago maybe even three and a half for some of those videos we would play a game called bar pong which was invented by counterproductive dirtbag dan he um was he's a he was a battler that's how i got into podcasts like back in like 2010 uh, or 2012 whenever he started he was a battler that ended up um doing podcast shit like that too And then he also got into the lane of uh, helping dogs. That's what he does now in San Jose. His name's Dirtbag Dan. I actually have a song with him uh, called I Made It that was also back from like 2018, four fucking years ago. Honestly, an awful song when I look back at it, but I'm very happy I have a song with him. So, Um, The game is basically like if I say hot potato, you have to say a word or phrase that rhymes perfectly with hot potato and when i say perfectly i don't mean the end rhyme so it's an imperfect perfectly i mean syllables have to get there so hot potato uh not tomato that's perfect not tomato hot potato is every syllable it's not a repeat anywhere it's a perfect rhyme but if you said like i shot your a-hole like that still works because the syllables is what's most important so you can tell uh I'm going to release the first episode we did. I think this one was honestly end of 2018. It's releasing right now after this. Uh, Again, the audio is going to be different than this because it was recorded back when we were using uh, my phone as a recording thing. I didn't have any setup. Um, And it's going to be vulgar. I I had to cut shit out of a lot of these, but I tried to make it appropriate. Thank you for tuning in. Me and Ruben will be back next week. There won't be credits at the end, so yeah. 603-922-407. That's an easy one. It's up to you. Okay. Um... I walked into the club... Yep. No, I walked into the yes. the restaurant and I asked for a poo poo platter. Mm-hmm. That's it, poo poo platter. Poo poo platter. I uh, I uh, I heard some fat ass bitch talking shit about my weight, and I'm like, "Who's you to chatter?" <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second to realize what you just said. Um, of all words you can pick, 
I tried to do a hard one to start off. Um, I wear clothes that are, I don't know how to describe this. I have a weird clothing line and I, and I bought a lot of them. I'm a, I'm a foo-foo master. Foo-foo master? Foo-foo. But I don't know what that is. Foo-foo. Um, shit, um... I talk a lot of shit, you try to rebuttal, but we know I'm too true to blast, sir. What was the rhyme there? Say too true to blast, sir. Poo poo platter. <laughs> to blast her? What was it? To blast, sir. Ew. Too true to blast, to blast sir. Okay, poo okay. poo platter. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Wow. That was extensive. I'm not a YouTube rapper. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not a YouTube rapper. Um, um, shit. All right, so this one time I was, yeah, texting a girl. Okay. And, um, Fuck. I'm going to count this right, as my so win. This one time I was texting a girl. I was finna have sex. She was giving me the vibes, but I was too prude to ask her. Damn. <laughs> keep doing like these extensive syllables and... They just keep fuck. going to my mind. <laughs> I'm going to do this as like a competition so that like whoever can't think of the next one, the other person wins. You know what I mean? Hmm. Um... I saw you with my mom. Yep. So I wanted to shoot you bastards. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> bang, bang. Shoot you bastards. That's fire. Um, shit, bro. You got them fake tats claiming your blood. Don't hit me with that subu crap there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Subu, subu crap, crap there. there. Um, Come on, so uh, crap poo-poo. there. Can right, you get another one? Platter. Um, poo poo platter. All right, so this one time I went to a Isla, blah blah blah, Jurassic Park style, and I met a huge blue raptor. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's kind of fire. <laughs> a huge blue raptor. <laughs> okay. Um, fuck. And what now, son? <laughs> Um, I, I, I should put a time limit on this, like they do in the dirtbag band. Like we can't think of something in ten seconds. Oh, I mean, I fuck it. We just kind of know what's going on. We're just gonna keep going with it, I guess. I wrote a book of lies, okay. but now I'm on to the new true chapter. Oh shit! I'm on a roll right now. I got three bangers. One time we went to Fuddruckers, I ate a pound of burger, and I took a huge poop after. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can't use after anymore because I think I said after once or twice yeah, already. I don't after. Um, I uh. I can't think of a word. I got the ending word, but I can't think of the two. You just got it. You got it. I I um I was eating a piece of gum. Yep. So I decided to have another one, mm. and I forgot to take off the packaging. So I chewed two wrappers. Oh, interesting. Get it? Like the W R A P P um wrappers. One time this man tried to introduce me to God and I said, I'll beat you to you black and blue, you pastor. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't know where I'm coming up with these. <laughs> so can I 
say like you again or like new or blue, yeah you know like, what i mean those words different I don't the know. end rhyme has to be different doesn't matter what the new ones because uh, i have a lot of good end rhymes like i could say i went to a farm and got a new blue tractor yeah but new and blue have all been said i don't before. know how it works dude. all right so knows. then we're gonna keep going i went to a farm and got a new blue tractor new blue tractor um We shouldn't try to say the same words, though. Uh, like, don't say, like, new blue and then another one right after. Yeah, right no, just said one, <laughs> I, one time I went to the dealership and I got a um, blue Sioux brew. Um, all right, never mind. That's not going to work. <laughs> I'm not going to give up, though. I'm wearing a red shirt. Try to rhyme my poo-poo platter. My mom's a hoe. She'll probably do you next to my dad. Your ladder. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I guess I lost this you one. You got the one. You're out. I right. lost this one. 1-0. One -oh. Next, next syllable, next my phrase turn. or word. Yeah. My turn to come up with a word. Um, poo poo platter was hard. That's four syllables yeah, poo -poo and platter. it's four syllables and the first two are the same thing. That's hard as hell. All right. Um, Ready? Here I go. I actually have a lot of good ones. Exorcism is a good one. <sighs> or a phrase. Anything. Um, to be honest. It just has to be one. Monday night, me and John went to Dave and Buster's. So Dave and Buster's? Is that mm -hmm. what it is? <sighs> I used to know this girl, but I raped and fucked her. Oh, it's not wow. what I was originally going to say, but... I met a Japanese girl once and I <coughs> fucked her in her Asian <coughs> butt word. <laughs> in her Asian butt word. This girl was coming over mm -hmm. and I was like, uh-uh, not unless you shave and cut first. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. Um... This one time, I was hanging out with this girl, and she was hot as fuck, stupid as hell, so I raped and punched her. Okay. Yeah. All right. We should take raped out. No. Yeah, because I said raped already. Oh, okay. David I thought you meant out of the raped. video. Yeah. <laughs> no, not that. Yeah, no, we'll keep it. Um... You asked me for some more alcohol, but I was like, uh, I'm pretty sure I gave enough, sir. Gave enough, sir? <laughs> Bang. That's like a perfect time to Dave and Buster's. Can I have a beer? Oh, fuck. This one time I met a bunch Switch. of Indians and I uh, killed them all, just like my uh, mate, uh, Custer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I supposed to grab you a beer from? I, I was know. just thinking that, yeah. yeah. Unless you want to go to the fridge, you want to the be the up. man, go to the fridge. Yeah. Dave and Buster's. Oh, well, you'll have to sacrifice for me to go to the fridge. No. What, so I lose automatically? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Fuck that. No, let's keep going. Then. Dave and Buster's. Um... I'm not talking Bible quotes when I say pain and rupture. Oh, it's rapture. It's not rupture. <laughs> that still works. Pain and rupture is my... <laughs> um, I've never met a more down to fuck girl than a Haitian slut. You're... <laughs> I went to the... <laughs> I went to the sperm clinic. Yep. <laughs> and they were like, you gave a cup's worth. <laughs> you gave a cup's worth? Wow. That, <laughs> that was good, right? That's worth. <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> See, that's why I take the extra second or two. Um. <laughs> Dude, Busters, can we say sorry again? No. What'd you say? What is it? We'll, we'll, we'll see how it is. Uh, so uh, one night, I was a doctor. 
I checked up on uh, the nurse and the uh, guy she was uh, taking care of. My manager was like, what happened? And I walked up to him and I was like, the patient fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, did we even say that before? I don't know. We'll count it. Who cares? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I went to cut you mm -hmm. in the stomach horizontally, but I decided to stick the razor upwards. <laughs> Tell me that's not fire. Yeah. David Buster's razor upwards, upwards bro. That's yeah, crazy. Shaking. Oh my god. I'm going to put that in a song. Damn, that's crazy. Um,. Um, shit, right? I, I don't know if I have another one. Nah, shit, hold on, I got one. <laughs> Mine are all, they don't work because I have too many um, similar words. This one time, I met a midget <laughs> and I took her on a date. Okay. We took her for a, to a football <laughs> field. Oh, no. And I tried to see how hard how far I can punt her. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I knew punter was the ending before you even you said midget. I was like, no. Let me get some of those cheeses. No, but you what'd you say? What was the thing again? Uh, I took her to a football field and I tried to see how far I could punt her. <laughs> it's Dave and Busters. Yeah. How far I could punt her? Come, Come on. on. How is Julia? Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, you got one. They're jalapeno and cheddar jack. Dave and Busters and how far I could punt her definitely doesn't work. No, no, tell me which one you got. So you lost again. No. Yes. Well, you're trying to pick words. 